you want the smoke? Do you want the smoke? No, I don't like the smoke, thanks. Oh. Yeah, I don't I don't like the smoke either. Hi there. <laughs> How are Welcome you? Welcome to Send It Steve's House. Warehouse. Shit box. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey Mouse! <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I am Senate Steve. This is Eric from Eric's Everything Auto. He's got something back here in the uh, corner that we're brewing up. You will see that on your channel, yes? Maybe. Maybe. So he is doing something over on a vehicle behind us here. I am actually now officially working on the Subaru. So I'm going to put in a quick little clip here real quick of what I want this thing to look similar to. Um, Obviously, we are going to do the same color wrap. Um, I'm obviously going to lower it. I'm going to do wheels, but I think I might actually, I don't really know, but I'm going to put a clip in real quick of what I want this thing to kind of look like. And uh, again, this is just sort of a daily driver and a quick clip and something that I'm... I was a little bit on fire. So as you can see here, I do want to go ahead and lower this thing. I want it to be an actual pretty cool project um, and something that I can daily drive. So uh, I went ahead and I was told, I think I actually posted a picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me now, follow me over there now, send it underscore Steve. I posted a picture of what I wanted this to look like. And uh, a, a fan actually messaged me and said, hey, I got a set of coilovers that I could sell you. Um, we ended up getting them and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and install them So this video might just be the install of these and it might also be partial wrap I'm not really 100% sure where this video is gonna go, but a what? Subscriber fan I have a couple like seven oh, Yeah but all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these things installed here. Let me get it jacked up. I don't have any more jack stands actually because they're under that. Oh, I hope I didn't go over too far, but they're under that, they're under that, and then outside there's two vehicles up on jack stands. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do here and uh, let's just get this thing lowered. Diesel smells the food. Get out of there. He is a hound dog. He said, I yeah, he smells my food. Look, I did actually bring Diesel some food. So I guess I could go ahead and feed him. He knows it too whenever I come up here. I tend to bring him food, and he knows it. He knows he gets the leftovers. He knows it. What do you do? Hey, what do you do? Hey. Good boy. Go ahead and eat. He knew the leftovers were, leftovers were in there and his, so I feed him all the time. I always bring him table scraps and things like that up here, and uh, he knows it, too. He knew they were in the car. He's ready to eat. All right, let's get this thing going. I actually added, also Tools actually sent us this half inch set and now I've used it to lift the uh, Denali I've used it on the Jeep build. Uh, I actually used it to tear the engine out of this Jeep. Um, Eric has been using it on the project that he's got going on. And I have to admit, I'm very impressed with the quality so far. So definitely check out Olsa Tools if you guys need anything. Um, we'll just say huge shout out to them for this. And uh, I'm very, very pleased to say the least. Um, maybe we can get some more tools, but don't tell them I said that. Actually, no, tell them I said that so we can get maybe some more tools and some organization to this place. All right, I'm gonna keep going. sure how well you guys can see here but there are two bolts at the bottom of the seats and then these pop up and then there should be two more bolts here and then one on the other side and one in the middle and then the backrest will come off of the seat here and uh, then they just slide up so let me keep going and uh, I'm actually getting excited about this for some odd reason I don't usually lower things so I think that's why I'm excited because it's just something different for the channel so plug and chug <laughs> my goodness so there was a spacer on there i did have to go ahead and take the spacer off um because obviously the spacer was causing it to hit up here so spacers off but uh we're gonna have to roll these fenders somehow if you got any ideas of how we can roll the fenders drop your comments down below because i am cheap and don't want to spend a bunch of money on this but uh i'd like to get these back on and different wheels 
stay tuned <laughs> all right i've got the rear lowered and the front is half lowered um, so I wanted to go ahead and stop and show you guys here. Um, I do have adjustable, uh, adjustable camber plates up top here um, on this one. And on the bottom one, I actually have camber adjust bolts down there. So I got it pretty dialed in. It's pretty straight up and down. Actually, you can't see it because it sticks in so far. But I've got this thing pretty much able to be driven the way it is. And I don't have to worry about too much. It is slam to say the least. Are you excited? No. No? Throw my back out. <laughs> no, that's me throwing your back out. Oh! Family all right. channel. <laughs> Family channel PG. Alright guys and girls, so I have to put the back seats back in. Um, that's really the only thing I have to do yet, uh, and that's four volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss them in. You guys don't need to watch all that, but uh, we're gonna pick back up. Starting to wrap this thing. Alrighty guys and girls, well I found a set of wheels for the Subaru and uh, I'm in the old new Tahoe and we're gonna go- In a quarter mile, turn left onto US 11 North. So we're going to get what an absolute disaster just trying to get these wheels. But uh, we've got them, we've got them acquired. The guy just freshly powder coated them, sold them to me super cheap. And uh, I cannot wait to get this Subaru finished up. So I think what today what we're gonna do is roll the fenders and then you guys are gonna have to see the wrap reveal at a later date. But we are gonna get these things mounted right now. Um, I do have tires for them that I picked up yesterday. I did not record because I kind of just jumped in the truck and went, um, but we got some wheels for the Subaru and it is about to be an epic build to say the least. All right, guys and girls, I will see you back at the shop probably. <laughs> boys and girls well huge shout out to danny slow restoration definitely check him out sorry i guess i turned this on right at an intersection which i didn't realize i was doing um but we've got some vinyl for the subaru so he had this left over from his truck um and then in that box there is another color which you can probably see it right now but i'm not going to show you until we get there and start wrapping the subaru other thing is my left rear door is actually smashed in. So I am actually going to get a left rear door, I think at 4.30 today. So uh, I might not be able to finish this completely today, but you, well, you'll see it by the end of this video. It will be done by the end of the video. But for me, it's probably gonna be two or three days. That's kind of like the crappy part is you guys get to just see like the flat, easy, like stuff right then and there. But for me, I got three hours of driving now to my shop and two days of wrapping, cleaning, wrapping, cleaning, and then obviously the editing. So I got a lot to do and you guys get to sit back and see it in right here. Alrighty guys and girls, well, I can't use anything that I just said. That's only because I just accidentally shot like a five minute thing and then realized that the project vehicle that you guys have not seen yet is sitting right there so huge wait for that i'm sorry um, but i'm gonna go ahead and do the doors here first as you can tell i went ahead and pulled the door the trim pieces off the door handles out um, i think the door handles i'm just gonna gloss black because i think that's the best way to do it for something quick and fast like this um, rather than take the time to actually wrap them um, again rear door handle the same this thing should clean up and actually wrap really easy i am sitting really close to the heat right here so it's putting off enough heat that i think i should be able to go ahead and do this and do this without ruining this wrap the only reason we didn't do the limo yet is because i don't want to gamble that that wrap i want to be perfect this here the, the floor is a little dirty um it is putting off if you ever worked around these like you understand like the dust i guess you want to call it from obviously burning wood um so i don't want to do the limo here yet 
but this year it's just a quick fun project so i don't really mind doing it uh in the time frame that we're doing it so without further ado obviously you see the wheels now um i did go ahead and roll the fenders um so fenders are rub, uh, rolled i drove it it does not rub or anything um the front did end up pulling a little bit when i went around the corner so we're gonna have to kind of straighten that up and uh re re uh do the fronts i thought i was gonna get away with not rolling the fronts but we're gonna have to roll the fronts so without further ado i'm gonna start wrapping and i don't know you guys will probably just see this side done because i can't really show you i can't really time lapse it because of the project behind it but you guys probably don't care anyway so let's just going to be a wrap for the record book all right i got this done here cam actually got me some gloss black so i can do the door handles because i didn't want to actually spend a bunch of time like i said uh wrapping the door handles i just want this to be like a quick job i don't want to spend a bunch of time on it just tossing it on make it look a little bit better than it did and uh, just sort of have some fun with it so without further ado i'm gonna start on the door here This thing is wild already, and I cannot wait to get this thing out and in the sunlight tomorrow. So it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to get it all completely wrapped, but I've got to get this out and get a picture. Um, the uh, grill piece there, I'm sorry, I can't scroll up because my project is right behind there. But that grill piece there on the hood was absolutely insane to try to wrap. And uh, if you guys have wrapped ever in your life, you know just how hard some of this stuff is. Um, also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over now. Um, I ended up, because it's so cold, uh, this piece here was like super, super hard to get to wrap um, because it kept ripping. Now, I don't have a bunch of uh, extra material laying around, so I had to just kind of move it up, move it up, move it up. And then I ended up having to piece it right there, which you can't really see. I mean, you can see it if you know. Now that you guys know that it's there, you'll know. But I had to pull it up, so I ended up not having enough to go down to the bottom because, obviously, it ripped. So check me out on Instagram, Senate underscore Steve. Let's pick back up tomorrow. Sometimes, I got to be honest, I've been wondering what Codes has been up to since I've been gone. But then I realized... You know what? That's a chapter in my book that's closed. No sense in reopening it. Maybe I'll follow him and just stop and say hi. I just wanted to show you guys here that I am building this thing out of complete scrap pieces that are laying around. Like, this is not new wrap. This is all just pieces laying around that's dirty, dusty. But we're going to make it happen. This orange is absolutely destroyed. But again... We're gonna make this thing look kind of cool. And I'm not building a showstopper. I'm just building something a little bit different, a little bit unique. Well, the moment of truth, the big reveal. 
bam, this thing came out absolutely amazing to say the least. Um, I do wanna go ahead and say that the wrap is not perfect. Number one, it is literally freezing cold out. Like I wrapped most of this, it was under 20 degrees and I had it next to my heater. Um, so you will see some flaws. Uh, obviously you can see a big dent right there. I did not go out of my way to make this thing absolutely perfect. I just went out of my way to make this thing cool, different, and unique. So there you have it. Um, two things, I am missing a trim piece over here. As you can tell on the window, I'm gonna source that and try to find that. Um, I bent that one all up trying to get it off, the clip broke. The front bumper is still the bumper that we went off-roading with, so that bumper piece is broken and missing. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that, but I think I have a, a one located where I can get one. Um, but I also am going to get a lower lip spoiler for this thing. But man, oh day, you can see that dent right there. I did not make this thing perfect. But man, I am absolutely in love. I do have to reinforce the bumper here. I just hit a bump coming up here um, and it ripped it off. But that's okay. I'll put two uh, screws in it and it'll hold it back up in place. But there you have it, boys and girls. This is what dedication and hard work can do. It made this car look so much cooler, so much more different, so much more unique, and uh, I couldn't be any more happy. So the rear bumper, um, I didn't have a, a long enough section to do the entire thing, so I did have to like three piece the, the back bumper. It's, it is what it is, same with the trunk lid. Um, I did have to have a seam down the center here, which if I wanted to, I could make it look a little bit better, not perfect, but I could make it look better. But again, this is all scrap pieces. So huge shout out to Danny Slow Restoration for hooking me up with the yellow and the green, everything else we had laying around. And uh, I freaking love this thing. All right, guys and girls, well, all right, guys and girls, well, there you have it. My first like kind of bizarre random wrap uh, reveal. I absolutely love it. And I think you guys will too. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of it. It definitely is going to be an eye catcher and uh, I'm freaking pumped. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is something a little bit different. It's not a lifted truck. It's not off-road content. We are back in a car that we can kind of have some fun with. And again, I might end up selling it. Who knows? If I get a silly offer for it, I might end up selling it. But I have a lot of time wrapped up in this thing. But there you guys have it. Comment, like, subscribe. I will see you guys in an upcoming video. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.